The Philippines will need to be something special from them today to beat an Iran side that have so far looked head and shoulders above the rest. The key starters, Gabe Norwood, number five. He's an athlete, defensive specialist, number seven. Listed as Jason William, he goes by the name Jason Castro, which is his mother's surname. He's the spark plug for them, arguably their most important player. And number 25, Donaldo Hontiveros. He is an outstanding three-point shooter, a great defender, another important piece, and 33, Ranadel Dio Campo, a real veteran of this national team. It's a true superpower matchup in Chongsha, the third most successful nation in the history of the competition against the second most successful. Castro with the three that rimmed around, came back out, and put it up from the foul line this time and put it in. Play with it here with Blatch. Looking to get into the paint, that's oh. a really pretty move from Andre Blatch. Castro, quick crossover onto the right oh hand, my. lovely hesitation on the dribble as well. Timed it to perfection and made it easy for his big man. There's a gap and you don't want to give that man a gap. The blur bursts into the paint to finish. And as we approach the midway point of the first, that one nothing but net from Gabe Norwood. There goes Castro again, outstretched right arm, trying to grab his own rebound. Kamrani comes away with it, runs into Blatch though. Castro in support, low catch and forced away back to Norwood. Castro now wide open for the three. Nails it from the outside to double the lead for the Philippines and to force Aram to call timeout. What a start from the Philippines. Smart play from Castro, he recovered the turnover, didn't rush it straight away, out to Norwood, spots up on the three-point line, and nothing but string music. And it's one of the great debates in Asian basketball, who is the number one point guard? Nine points per game, 38% from long range, and you see there what he can do going to the basket. Nice spin to the hoop from Abueva, and he gets the drop as well. And here was this move from Blatch. Look at the body control and the finger roll. 211 centimetres and Dirk Bauman says, how do you do that with you that big? Braver onto the right hand, spins into the lane and banks it in. What a shot that is from Calvin Abueva. You've got to love a little bit of feeling between these two teams. This is the second round. Quarterfinal spots are on the line. Seedings are on the line. And out to the perimeter to Intel. Over to Blatch, who's going to shoot the three from the corner. Nothing but net for Andre Blatch. Moved on by Sahakian in towards Air Haddadi. There's that battle again. And Blatch comes away with it again. Not allowing Haddadi to get access to the hoop. They backed off Masha Iki. He can't hit, but Kamrani is quickly in. Blatch doing well again on those two fouls. Then rises into the air. And Iran can't hit. The Philippines continue to switch their defences, showing different looks, trying to make this well-oiled Iranian machine make some decisions that they're not comfortable with. Iran have opened up a six-point gap. And a little bit of breathing room. Castro. Oh, what a move. Tremendous dribble from Castro. <laughs> Under the basket, finds Blatch. Over to the far side, Romeo's going to shoot a three again. This time he gets it to go from a couple of feet beyond the perimeter. You stop that penetrator getting into the heart of the defense. Romeo with the three after missing his previous attempt. Look at an outstanding off-balance finish from Davapana. Long two is right on the money for Deo Campo. Boards for Aram because he's such a presence inside defensively. He takes up so much space and he cleans the glass. Castro, who can get to the rim in a couple of seconds, kicks it back out for the three. They keep persisting, and this time they hit. Deo Campo nails a three right at the end of the first half and closes the gap to six. And with Andre Blatch off the floor, it could so easily have been double digits. They'll be happy with that end to the second quarter. They won't because... Um, Norwood got caught underneath that screen, didn't fight over the top and left the best three-point shooter for a arm wide open. Blatch answering back and hanging it high off the glass. Three at the end of the first half, Castro looking to drive between the two red shirts again. Lightning fast move and he lays it in. I was about to... Herdadi onto the far side to Jamshidi, who looks to drive in. Shot clock down to three here and it's picked off by Castro. Lightning fast steal and he finishes at the other end as well to close the gap to three.
Cambrani looking to drive away from Blatch here and Blatch swats it away. Giving a round of applause to the foul call. They just loved seeing the foul called on Enher Dadi as Blatch starts the play with the block. Finishes it at the other end. Ehadadi unlucky to get that call. Four point Iranian lead. Nice pass. Out to the far side to Norwood for the three. Makes it a one point game. Gabe Norwood hits from the outside. And they have shown their strength. Ponte Veros for three. Ties the game. From the corner, they are more than living with the reigning champions. And a... Romeo pulls back for a three of his own and nails it for the go-ahead basket. The Philippines looking to wrestle top spot from the reigning champions. And they're fair. Here comes Romeo at pace. Thinks about it, pulls up for another three oh. and gets the hop as well. Back-to-back -back threes for Romeo. And the Philippines lead again. Look at Andre Blatch, he's excited. And the Philippines continue, look at this one, just floats across to the left, shoots it with the right hand. And it's string music for Terence Romeo, this one. He thought about it for a little while. And then he thought about it for a little while before it dropped in the basket. But the Philippines are in front, it's 58 to 57. A fog into the game for the first time in a while, knocked away and a turnover off the back of the timeout. He's feeling good, look at him. He's pushing his teammates away, he's saying, I want to go one-on-one. -on -one. Blatch to Romeo. Drives into the lane again, hangs it up and banks it in. Romeo with eight points in the space of about a minute on court. Pingris attacking off the baseline, rejected, but grabs the ball as it comes back down and Blatch looking to get inside. What about that for a move oh. from Andre Blatch? The circus shot is good for the big man. Oh my. Castro. Looking to influence the rhythm himself now. He drives inside, plays it to a Bueva, who was lurking on the baseline to put it in to extend the lead to seven. It was a Philippine party, not just on the court. They were dancing in the stands and Romeo joined in from long range. Look at him celebrate. Andre Blatch, he's excited. We didn't know if he'd be playing today, but I'm sure he wouldn't miss this. And here was the move up and under. Dipsy do from Andre Blatch. What a quarter of basketball. Well, that air of invincibility is gone. Win, lose, or draw today. As we see some more of Andre Blatch, the Philippines behind their big man. They're putting the challenge to the defensive champ. Important the Philippines get a couple of early baskets to keep that pressure on. And Castro does just that. Strikes a big blow from downtown. Castro away from him. Shot clock down to three as he throws it up. Off the glass and gets the foul as well and a chance at a three-point play. And the Iran team arguing amongst themselves. They were saying who's going to help. But they're so used to Ehadade giving the help, and he was minding Blatch, who was pinned to the three-point line on the weak side. Camrani. The long Locked answer away Norwood. by Norwood. Can they recover it? They can. A Bueva able to put it in, and the foul as well on Ehadade, and a chance at a three-point play again for the Philippines. Wow, and we talked earlier in the game about the defensive matchup of Norwood on Kamrani. That time it forces the steal, and Abueva doing what he does best. And, the and it goes towards Air Haddadi. Excellently read by Abueva, then they lose it, but Blatch comes up with the ball. Romeo. Pingris looking to set the screen. Romeo finds Blatch on the perimeter, drives against Air Haddadi. The foul instead is on Masha Iki. It's been a big win so far. We see Castro, he has been the star. They call him the blur. We don't have to tell you why. But he's added the three-point shot to his repertoire as well. He's been deadly from everywhere. And sometimes they settled for one-on-one -on -one play. Sometimes it was him disrupting defensively. It hasn't seemed to matter what he's done tonight. Davari. In towards Air Haddadi, Blatch coming up with a steal from behind. Trying to slide it in, and Abueva able to grab it. Pingris then two. To Romeo, 
driving down the baseline. Latch going for the offensive board and putting it back in. First double digit lead of the game for the Philippines. And me. Inside, away from Blatch, the shot was well short, and guess who comes up with the ball? The energy man, the beast, Abueva. Have gone over three minutes without a score, and knocked away from behind, and here they come on the fast break. Three on one opportunity, Abueva looking to attack hard, and draws the foul on Air Haddadi. Tech foul called on Air Haddadi. Five on Air Haddadi with the tech foul. He is out of the ball game. Air Haddadi. Just threw a big blow to the nose of Abueva, but it's him who's knocked out of the ball game. And yeah, the contact to the nose, it was a correct call by the official. He got what a stunning performance from the Philippines so far. Abueva a chance to make it a dozen point lead. Asha Iki fakes the three, then drives inside. Norwood puts up a defensive wall. Still going to be Iranian ball. Gabe Norwood, he is a defensive master. How about that help defense? Elevates straight up, gets his hand on top of the ball. Castro into the paint. Tremendous move from Castro again, who now has 24. You don't get much more high percentage than that. Mashaiki, steal. Castro comes up with the steal. Takes us right down to the final few seconds of this shot clock. Spins away in the lane and puts it in. Highlight reel play from Castro and Iran inflicting some Filipino payback. Here it is. Have a look at the control and the finish from Jason Castro. Abueva hits the foul shots. We've got a minute remaining. And the Philippines have a 14-point lead over the reigning champions. They are partying on the Philippines bench and in the stands as well. Stunning upset from the Philippines. And now they're getting some of their own back. And Norwood comes away with the ball. Near Nassitao Lava can come into the game with a big smile on his face. Look at Andre Blatch beating his chest. Last night, this morning. What was the preparation they did? Because it has been a completely different team here today. Three-point play for Jamshidi. It's too little, too late. 49 to 30 since halftime. A remarkable display. Jamshidi all over Romeo here. He's Romeo. able to fight his way out and then draws the foul. Romeo putting on a ball handling clinic. So I reckon if you walk around the streets of the Philippines, you see kids out everywhere playing basketball, playing that sort of defense and doing that sort of ball handling. And Romeo was right at home there. And Tab Baldwin, he's looking right at home too. Final seconds. Jamshidi. Sahakian will take the final shot of the game. What a game for the Philippines. They avenge their final defeat of two years ago with a gold medal type performance. They're very much back in business here at the Asia Championship behind 26 points of Jason Castro, 18 from Andre Blatch as they beat the reigning champions 87 to 73. Well, don't let anyone ever tell you that the FIBA Asia Championship is predictable. What a performance today. We've said it so many times. The Philippines looked down and out in this tournament. They looked like a team struggling to qualify for the quarterfinals. Now, all of a sudden, they're in the box seat for the number one seed in Group E. And you can see what it means to them. Iran just looks so, so strong coming into this one. You thought there was no way, even though it was a rematch of the final. But what a performance from the Philippines, stepping up against the reigning champions and winning it 87 to 73 behind those 26 points of Castro.